Well, work being done here in Rochester today to teach adults how to read and speak English is directly linked to the work of one woman out of Syracuse who died just a few weeks ago. Ruth Colvin was 107 years old, and her long life afforded her the opportunity to watch her mission spread far and wide, including in our area. It's a fabled story now. In the early 60s, Ruth Colvin, living in Syracuse, learned 11,000 adults in Onondaga County could not read. Her effort to change that blossomed into an international movement, and not long before she passed, our sister station in Syracuse talked to her about her success. And when you find your passion, which I did, it's changed my whole life. And it can change your life for the better, too. Her mission is still on display today in all corners of the world, including right here in Rochester. Oh, my God, the impact Ruth has had. Uh, that's a difficult one to try to sum up without talking for hours. Joshua's staff runs Literacy Rochester, which was established in 1963 by Queenie Zelke, who was inspired by Colvin. Here, volunteers work throughout our area, especially in libraries, to improve reading, math, English language, and digital literacy skills for local adults. We're honoring her legacy by continuing to do what she established 60 years ago. Her goal was to use the community to help people improve their lives. So almost all of our services are provided by community members as volunteers, and that's really our core. Her legacy, though, not just in this kind of work, but also in her example. If you do nothing, you won't ever make a mistake. But you wouldn't have done anything. I love that one, words to live by. By the way, there's a fundraiser to help Literacy Rochester coming up on Thursday, October 10th. It's called Brain Game, and I've actually been a part of this before. It is a ton of fun, and of course it helps an amazing organization that you just learned about. For more information on this, we're gonna have an article up at rochesterfirst.com.